Welcome back to Real Estate 101. Today we're going to continue our discussion on mortgage financing and talk a little bit about mortgage prepayment penalties and I'm pleased to be joined once again by Tracy Brock of Dominion Lending Centers. Tracy, welcome back to the show. Thank you. So Tracy, why do some homeowners pay their mortgage before maturity? Well, there's many reasons that they would do that. If they have some bills that they want to consolidate to reduce their monthly debt, they want a job opportunity has come up so they have to move. They win the lottery, you know, I don't want to pay it off if I win the lottery. All right. So why don't you explain a little bit about what is maturity on a mortgage? The maturity of a mortgage, most mortgages are done in one to five year terms. So a term is the length that you've chose. If you've chose a five year term, for example, your mortgage does not mature until the end of that five year term. So if you break your mortgage before that term, that's where you would incur these penalties. The penalties. Yes. Okay, are there any consequences with the lender when you decide to cancel your mortgage? Yes, it varies with lenders and some just won't let you do it, but there is prepayment payment penalties. Okay, and tell us a little bit about some of those prepayment penalties. Well again, it varies with the lenders. The prepayment penalties are the clause in the mortgage commitment when you first sign your mortgage that states that if you don't follow through with the term, whether it be one year, two year, five year, that they will charge you a fee and associated interest penalties for breaking the mortgage. So why do banks charge this interest penalty when you break the term of your mortgage? Basically to compensate them for the loss of interest in revenues and the risk involved with that. It uh, varies with each lender how they calculate those penalties, but it is to mitigate their loss. Okay. How is it calculated? It's calculated either two ways, through three months simple interest or interest rate differential. And is it the same for, for every lender, three months interest or? It's usually whatever's greater, it depends on the original term to begin with. So um, original, whether it's a fixed mortgage or a variable mortgage, definitely makes a difference. Typically variable mortgages are just three months interest penalty. Can you explain the differences between those two? Sure. A three month interest penalty is calculated typically using whatever the bank's current rate is. So if you have two months remaining on your mortgage, they'll calculate it using their two year current rate. And it is simply that it's how many months left remaining based on the rate, based on the amount of your mortgage. It's a, an easy calculation. The interest rate differential calculation is much more difficult and it definitely varies between lender. Some of them use the bank current ba bank prime rate. Some use the rate closest to the term that you're at. And it's all calculated through the lender's own specific ways and it can be very costly. All right, okay. so. Are there any other fees associated with breaking your mortgage other than the mortgage prepayment penalties? Yeah, the banks are actually getting very interesting with their, their fee structures. They've got reinvestment fees, they have discharge fees, so they have uh, government reinvestment discharge fees, so there is quite a few other additional costs involved with it. Now are all mortgages subject to these fees and penalties? Not necessarily. If you have an open mortgage, then obviously you would just pay a discharge fee, there's no penalty. Uh, the, the risk of having, the rate that's charged on an open mortgage kind of compensates for that risk that they're going to be paid out earlier. Your mortgage broker really is best equipped to help you decide, you know, which way is the better way to go and if you really should be breaking your mortgage. They can give you a pretty accurate estimate to what those penalties and fees are going to be based on the lender and who, where you're at in your mortgage term. All right, Tracy. So for today's final question, do you have a last piece of advice for consumers that are just about to set up a mortgage? Yeah, knowledge is power. You really have to know what you're signing. Make sure that you are with a professional mortgage broker who's going to tell you exactly what's in that contract that you're signing. Know what it's about. Know where you're at. You Think about where you're going to be two years, three years, five years from now. Maybe a five-year term, although it might be a great rate, isn't the best right. route for you. If you know in two years you might be getting a transfer or in two years your children are going to college or in two years you want to buy a vacation home. All right. So, you know, know what you're doing and make sure that you're educated. All right, Tracy, thanks very much for coming on today's show. You brought a lot of good information. Thank you. If anybody has any more questions or needs the help of a top mortgage broker, 
they can get in contact with Tracy Brock of Dominion Lending Centers. I'm your host, Joe Tracera. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.